from Seoul, Korea, and welcome to day two of the round of 16 here at GSL Code S. I'm tasteless. With me is Artosis. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. How are you well, doing today? Uh, I'm okay. Yeah. We had great games yesterday. Actually, uh, some of the best games um, for, you know, early round of 16, I think, ever in GSL. Uh, definitely check yeah. out the VODs from yesterday. Yeah, that was amazing yesterday. It was three Terrans and a Zerg, and normally you'd think, well, you know, it would be probably a pretty good day, but maybe a few boring games in there. Nope. Absolutely superb. Pretty much every game. Every game was, was great. Was that was an A plus like awesome game to watch? No, yeah. uh, well, we definitely saw the early games. Uh, in future that GSL champion Innovation came right through. Innovation that. is is a future GSL a champion. God. <laughs> oh my, he's God. way too good. He's so good. He's way too good. I have never ever seen a StarCraft two player play as well uh, as Innovation had yesterday. Yeah, it was. I've never seen anything like that. Really, before. guys, it was uh, it was something else. He looks so good. I doubt many players can take him out. Well, that's going to be the probably the biggest upset if he is taken out at this point in time. I mean, I know it's amazing to watch MVP or an ST or MC, but this was on another level. I mean, this was so perfect. I couldn't believe it. Even the game that he lost, he was like, "Oh, I made one mistake." Okay, I'm going to do a very technical all-in and just... And Almost it, it, win anyways. If uh, Tasia hadn't handled that perfectly, yeah. uh, Infiltration would have... Or not Infiltration, excuse me, Innovation. This is StarCraft, not Street Fighter. Uh, innovation would have actually um, won that. And it was just yeah. phenomenal. He would have KO'd him. Yeah, he would have. Would have bodied that nerd. It would have, <laughs> nerd would have gotten blown up, man. <laughs> Full bars, too. Yeah. So, you're going to the next round. That's that's rough. That's you're going to economize those bars very well. Well, wow. fighting game players don't know what we're talking about. Um, in today's games, we have a nice even uh, set of races. Yeah, we actually have uh, Protoss, Protoss playing Zerg. every day for the rest of the round of 16. Yes. Uh, that's really exciting. This is like a really cool group that we have today, Tasteless. It's, it's really dynamic, a lot of different styles, a uh, lot of fan favorites in here. Yep. We got Artosis' favorite Protoss. You know, we have Squirtle. the world's favorite Terran yep. in Marine King. Uh, we have uh, what many people say is the best Kespa Zerg, Solki. And then, of course, Symbol, just freshly joining Azubu. And uh, just an amazingly good Zerg. It's going to be a lot of fun today. Um, as some of you know, but I know we have a lot of new viewers here, uh, two players go up to the round of eight, two are out of Code S. Uh, and we basically stay like that for, you know, the first half of the tournament. Yeah. Until eventually we've eliminated most of the players, then it goes down uh, to more set matches. So, first match today is going to be Squirtle against Symbol. After that, Marine King against Solki. It's an insanely stacked group, just as all of them are. Uh, I want to know your predictions, Tasteless. Uh, I think this is a tough one, but I am going to say Squirtle, and I'm going to say Solki. That's actually what I'm going to say. Okay. But the one thing that could screw him up is if Symbol beats him in the first round, because I feel like Symbol is the only match that's good against Squirtle in this match, in this group. I feel like Squirtle crushes Marine King, and I think he beats Sulky, but the way Symbol plays, his, his long game macro style is something that Squirtle's brainy style is going to have a hard time with. Well, you know, when you get somebody like Symbol, uh, who can take it all the way to the late game, that makes it tougher. Uh, Squirtle, who I think Squirtle, Squirtle's somebody who's much more bulletproof to cheese, generally speaking, yeah, except yeah. for when MVP did that cheese okay. at one time. Is Squirtle, I would rank as probably the smartest Protoss in the whole world. Uh, Rain, of course, is really up there, but he's, he's something else. All right, let's take a look at the highlights from these two players previously. And we'll throw that up for you in a second <laughs> against Squirtle versus Sybil. All right, so we're moments away from getting this game started. Here's Squirtle now. Uh, and I gotta agree with you, Artos. This guy has the best build orders in StarCraft 2. He he definitely. Could, I man. love uh, what he was uh, doing last year, where he'd open up with the same starting branch of a build. Yep. Uh, you know, getting has uh, five different branches. And, uh, yeah, and it, it, it was because it was a group where he had uh, three other Terrans to go up against, 
And it had five different openers after he got out the first two stalkers. Yeah. And it was like all the other turns are watching this guy thinking, all right, I got it. I see what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. And then he does something different. Then the next game, another thing. And that makes him very hard to prepare against. Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty darn hard to prepare against. Truthfully, yep. when you have a brainy player like this, someone that really gets the game and develops really intelligent strategies and understandings, the way to beat him is to either do something really dumb that's going to catch him off guard. I'm talking something you'd be like, well, this isn't a good idea. Well, yeah, the squirrel doesn't think so either, so maybe you can get him with it. Uh, or just have ridiculously good mechanics and play a very long game against him. And that is what this man does, Symbol. He is mechanically awesome, and he's so good at a super long game. So that's something that's going to give him uh, a reasonable chance against Squirtle, whereas the other two players in this group, I feel, don't line up with that exactly and are going to be wins more easily for Squirtle. So uh, that's... There you have it, Tasis. Is that how you feel, Artesis? That's how I feel, and I now feel very know. strongly about it. <laughs> All right, so head-to-head -head here, and our countdown's actually started here. The map is going to be Whirlwind. Now, this is a big, big, big map, uh, and Protosses do not like to play against Zergs on it. It doesn't mean Protosses can't beat Zergs on it, but, uh, you know, the longer a travel distance uh, to a Zergs uh, main base, the more likely the Zerg is going to like that map because the Zerg can expand and uh, consume all the resources on that map. So I'm interested in Squirtle, Build Order Genius. What exactly he has going into this really yeah, fast yeah. expand? Will he do some kind of all in? Uh, I don't know. You know, Squirtle, somebody who claims to not have very good micro, he said that um, on one of our older shows off the record. And, you know, I, I frankly I think his micro is pretty good. It is good. So, um, you know, Maybe he's improved on that. When he was teammates with Parting, I guess it's easy to look at Parting and be like, well, my That's micro That's actually sucks. a very good point. That's a very, <laughs> very good point. Yeah. By comparison, he's like, well, I'm not that good. Yeah. Against the guy who's got the best micro in the world. All right. Well, our game should be loaded up soon. Looks like there's a little bit of a hiccup on the loading screen. Yep. But uh, sit tight. By the way, get well, on. This point's become more of a burp, but yeah. Yeah. At this point, I think it's become a, uh, a coma. All right, finally, the game is now loaded up. Guys, get online. Spread the word about the GSL here at GoldenTV.net. In Seoul, Korea, we have the best StarCraft 2 players in the world. You get out the most competitive esports show of all time, the GSL Code S. In the upper left starting location, we have our Pokemon Protoss, a build order master. He is... Squatter. And in the bottom left, we've got our Zerg player, the best endgame ZVP there is out there. He is... Ajuk Shimbo. We didn't always... Oh, that was a different graphic. Was that? I wasn't looking. Oh, focus, Artosis. I was, I was you looking... You gotta become a focus, I was looking at the actual game. <laughs> And we got two monitors here. The one in front of me is what you guys see, and then Artos has got it in game one. Oh, sick! From Australia. Yeah. We've been to Australia to catch StarCraft. That's true. Uh, land down under, love Squirtle. Yeah. Cracking Cody's. Yeah. Watching out for drop bears. <laughs> that's right. There's drop bears in there, man. That's the uh, that's the number one line of defense for Australia, actually, is foreigners' fear of drop bears. It so is, yeah. They have to keep that going. That and foreigners' disappointment when they find out that Foster's is not actually uh, an Australian beer. No, it's just it's the Australian word for beer, apparently. Right, yeah. Well, it's not, not everybody can speak Australian. No. No, not everybody. I think it's like a wonky dialect of French. I'm not entirely sure, though. Um, something like that. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> um... No, but actually, we went to Sydney, man. That was amazing. Yeah, it was pretty, I pretty loved darn it. fun, I would say. I love the part where we, um, the ACL guys brought us to uh, the zoo and filmed us. And we got to get into the koala bear, uh, whatchamacallit, koala bear cage? Keep, keeping ground. It wasn't really a cage, so yeah. keeping grounds. And I swear that lady that was um, watching us interact with the koala bears was pretty sure we were from Discovery Channel or Animal Planet, so I'm sure they were pretty <laughs> <laughs> disappointed by the end of that when we basically told them, no, we're here for a video game tournament. And, I mean, the closest thing we have to, you know, being like zoo people is Dan's a vegetarian. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess that's pretty close. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> we do have uh, a cool little opening here by Squirrely's opening with this little one base play. He'll probably go into a fast expansion. We have seen Squirtle actually do this build from time to time. Last time he did it, 
Oh, uh, I want to say he did this on Antigua somewhat recently. Uh, and followed up with a, a little gateway timing. But we'll see what he wants to get done here. I, I feel that he's definitely going to go into the two base. Oh, God. Okay, he's not no, going to do it not. all in. Okay, is so... He four gate? Or is he going to three gate soccer? It looks like three four gate. gate. Four gate. Yeah. I, I like three gate soccer, action. glad that you said that. But without any speed upgrade and the fact that he hasn't scouted him yet, this is definitely a situation where, uh, oh. you know, Squirtle can possibly do a lot of damage. Yeah, sure. It's a pretty uh, calculated build here. And look at this. He still hasn't squ scouted this at all. He actually has not seen any of these units on the pylon. And he hasn't even scouted where Squirtle is. Squirtle has utilized the size of this map against him. He's made his third base. And he has two lings total. He's actually just going to die. <laughs> yeah, this is... Um, well, he's going to find out in a second. Starts but I mean, even seeing a three gate versus a four gate's a pretty big deal. Okay, the stalker is not going to be able to kill the ling before he gets up there. Yeah, and he knows. Oh god, this is going to be rough. He just made a round of drones, and what well, he just canceled the spine. Yeah, he had no idea what's going oh on. Oh my god, completely tricked. And this is how do you win from here, tasteless? Uh, you don't. I no, don't. you don't win from here. <laughs> He's, wow. Uh, well, that's that's pretty good planning, man. That was that's a good build order, folks. That's, uh, I, think I think that's what we call a build order win, which is what Squirtle's best at. So yeah, uh, Symbol didn't scout enough, didn't figure out what was going on, and at this point, if he were to win this game, I would be pretty shocked. Oh, he got that probe. That's one good thing, but I yeah. don't think he's able really to get around and get the pylons, especially not with yeah. that one warping in right there to the right. Well, there's three pylons as well. Imagine just killing all those. Oh, I didn't see the one above that. Excuse me. Yeah. Well, uh, the drone's coming out with the queens. A lot of queens actually helping out quite a bit, but these zealots taking way too much damage. And, uh, oh, sick kiting, dude. Sick kiting. Yeah. See, look at that, pulling that one in the back. Again, he's not going to lose. Okay, so no Protoss units have been killed yet, I think. Maybe one zealot. GG. GG. Uh, well, that was one-sided. Super well done now. This is what Squirrel does. He just he prepares so well for each match. And uh, I mean, this I'm so surprised he's been back up on a team yet because this guy, as far as I'm concerned, he's worth much more on a team than parting let's overall. Buy, let's buy Squirtle. Let's buy Squirtle. We're on TV. We make enough. Let's buy a Squirtle, man. Let's, let's buy one. Let's capture him with a Pokeball. That's yeah. Get him for free. Um, he doesn't know that we're actually Team no. Rocket. <laughs> Um, no, you know, that was a smart build on that map. Although that game uh, in StarCraft 2 time, under seven minutes long, very short. Yeah. Uh, you know, he looked at the map and he said, this is a huge map. Why on earth would I play on this map, a standard game? What a waste of time. Yeah. I will bum rush the Zerg. He planned it so well, and the way he did his scouting and everything, that was super hard for Symbol to scout, because you don't normally, like, drone scout or anything. So he kind of hit Symbol before Symbol had any idea what was going on. Yeah. Symbol just had no chance based upon the way he opened that game. So uh, that w I liked that calculated risk by Squirtle. It's a good way to open your series on such a tough map. And uh, so now, you know, at least he's going to be able to play on his own map if he loses this next game, a map of his choice, you know? Uh, the map he picked was Belshir uh, Vestige, or Vestige, depending on how fancy you want to sound. <laughs> and, um, or how right or wrong. Well, is, Vestige is not actually... Um, what, what, what's the root for that word? Is that a... Uh, vestige? Is that French? Probably a vestigial. No, no, uh, well, never mind. We'll get back to this. In a oh, second. yeah, it would have originally been a French. French root, right? Yeah. Vestige or something like that? I don't know. GSL. Let's go.